Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah the Brick. Under the patronage of His Majesty the King's Representative for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasr bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Bahrain Cycling Academy, the BCA team, was inaugurated today. Including seven Bahraini cyclists, the team will be officially launched on January 31st. His Highness Sheikh Nasr expressed his appreciation for the efforts exerted by the cycling team to achieve a professional vision for athletes, noting that this team will also contribute to achieving many many goals, especially that the team includes seven Bahraini riders. His Highness pointed out that the cycling team will hold numerous events for Bahraini cyclists, adding that efforts are being exerted for Bahraini professional riders to represent the kingdom in various international championships. He expressed his optimism about the future of cycling with the Bahrain Cycling Academy, noting that it includes a group of distinguished riders. The inauguration ceremony was held in the presence of the Bahrain Cycling Association President, Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad al Khalifa, where he expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for supporting the youth and sports sector, highlighting that the launch of the cycling team comes as part of the association's keenness to achieve His Highness's vision to support athletes and reach them professionalism. The cycling team is considered one of the teams that complete in the third level in cycling competitions, most of which were held in Europe and Asia with the aim of developing Bahraini riders to reach professionalism. Bahraini riders expressed their thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for supporting Bahraini athletes and youth in various fields. Today, the objective is uh, to introduce our riders and uh, who are going to benefit from this project. Actually, the project will be a, a development team uh, for our riders in terms of uh, how to be a professional, how to be a professional rider. And the team will provide our riders with uh, equipment, with training, with knowledge of how to to, to train how to race as a professional and this should give them the platform to jump into the professional teams and join uh, professional teams such as Bahrain McLaren our uh, you know our sponsor of the team and uh, really would like to take this opportunity to thank his highness Sheikh Nasser for uh, really supporting this project uh, Bahrain McLaren has uh, our the, the project has uh, been initiated for three or four years now and has really had a, a major impact in terms of uh, really exposing Bahrain as uh, you know uh, as a sporting place as a you know place where uh, we really have champions and I think uh, uh, the project has been uh, successful in uh, exposing that in uh, big events such as the Giro and uh, Tour de France and Voleta uh, all these big races that really uh, our riders today would like to hopefully uh, join soon and this is really the, our, our objective from the project is to be able to uh, develop our riders into uh, professional riders and uh, reach the world-class cycling very soon. The Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs shared the committee's meeting and discussed the topics on the meeting's agenda, which included a number of draft laws and agreements in order to refer them to the Cabinet meeting. The committee also discussed a number of draft laws submitted by the Legislative Authority and the Representatives Council and prepared a draft response. Following directives from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning Ministry has launched a series of service development projects in cooperation and coordination with the Council of Representatives. The projects aim to improve the quality of municipal services across the kingdom, which will contribute to achieving the goals of the Comprehensive Development March spearheaded by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. In this regard, the Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning Minister Isam bin Abdullah Khalaf paid an inspection visit to the Block 360 Roads Development Project in Zinj along with MP Ahmed Saloum. The minister said that the project includes the rehabilitation of roads 6023, 6025, 6026, 6013 and 6015 in addition to Avenue 66 noting that a rainwater drainage network will be set up there. The minister added that the project had been put out to tender by the tender board at a cost of 707 and 196,000 Bahraini dinars and that procedures are being taken to award the project in preparation for the start of the implementation process. 
Following the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to distribute 5,000 housing units, the Minister of Housing Basim Al Hamar began distributing the Janusan Housing Project units. The Minister affirmed that this project follows the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to build 40,000 units. He added that the project also follows the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa to meet the needs of the people of Janusan. He praised the geographical location of the project and units that meet the needs of the Bahraini families. Al Hamar affirmed the leadership's keenness to serve the kingdom and its people and praised the follow up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. Under the patronage of the Works Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning Minister Engineer Isam bin Abdullah Khalaf, a workshop about the public cleanliness law was held this morning at the Municipal Training Center in Tubli. More on this report with Abdurrahman al Sahaf. The Ministry of Works, Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning organized today an introductory workshop for all heads of inspection, oversight departments in the municipalities. The engineers, concerned and inspectors aiming to introduce the specialists to the Articles of the Public Cleanliness Law No. 10 of 2019, issued by His Majesty the King and its executive regulations, as well as mechanisms for its application and identification of violations through it. The law represents a quantum leap in preserving the environment, human health and civilization of the country. The workshops today is focusing to uh, introduce for all the inspector and engineers about the new uh, regulation and law was implemented for the cleaning services. Uh, what we are looking for for uh, for time being is to understand all the stuff uh, regarding the uh, implementation and how they're going to do uh, for all the uh, violations they have going to uh, raise it on the site. Under Secretary for Municipal Affairs at the Ministry of Works, Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Sheikh Mohammed bin Ahmed Al Khalifa stated that the executive regulations of the law have included a number of penalties for violations committed by industrial, medical and agricultural facilities. Violations also include abandoned vehicles on the streets, sidewalks, squares and beaches. Fines are ranging from 50 to 300 Bahraini dinars. To explain the executive steps of applying the law then for the year of 2019 and, and today the workshop of today we are expecting from the inspect, uh, inspectors to apply to indicate to identify to know what we are going to cover of the of this law the law application will be implemented starting next week gradually along with a public awareness campaign reiterating public cleanliness as a shared social responsibility in which the efforts of government agencies, civil society institutions, educational institutions and the public come together. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Abdurrahman Sahaf.